What's going on guys, it's Nick here from MyGotIphone.com. A real quick update video I want to show you right now, and that is on Green Poison. Now, most of you should know that Green Poison was released a couple of days ago, and this jailbroke, well this jailbroke, sorry, can't speak today. This jailbroke the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3G, the iPod Touch 4, and the iPad, and this was on 4.1. Now, recently it has been updated to work with Mac as well. In that video it was only for Windows and Linux. But now it does work for Mac as well, and I'm going to show you on Mac in a second. Um, the other big update, which was today, or I think yesterday now actually, um, was for the iPod Touch 2G. So all you iPod Touch 2G users out there that have been asking me constantly, does this work for the iPod Touch 2G, even though I did say it doesn't, um, there is now a jailbreak out there for you. Now there was originally Red Snow, and I was going to show you it, but now this has come out, I thought I'd just show you this instead. So... Uh, you can click that and download it. So let's just minimize this and bring green poison into the center. Now it does look a bit different from the Windows version, but that's nothing to be aware of. I'm gonna take you through this step by step anyway. Now just to show you, I do have an iPod 2G here. I'm not sure how much you're gonna see of this. So basically, um, as you can see, I do have the uh, joint volume rockers right there. So you can know that's an either 2G or a 3G, but I do believe the iPod Touch 3G um has wallpapers enabled and multitasking but i can double click and i don't get multitasking on here now correct me if i'm wrong but i don't really know how <laughs> how else i can show you that it is an ipod touch 2g but i guess guys you should just be able to trust me as i am here to help you and i wouldn't lie about something like that but as you can see i am on version 4.1 right there and um Obviously, in previous videos we, with this iPod Touch, I've said it's an iPod Touch 2G and it's that same iPod. So I've updated the 4.1. It's a fresh, clean restore I've done just to show you that this works for the iPod Touch 2G. So as you can see on the screen, we have Green Poison open and running. Let's just put this over here. Okay, so it is a bit different to Windows, like I said. Now, what you need to do is basically just click jailbreak and get ready with your device. So that's what we're going to do. So it'll count you down and get ready to press and hold the sleep button. So we're gonna hold the sleep button for three seconds. Continue holding the sleep button, but press and hold the home button at the same time. And after that, it will, you have to release the sleep button, but keep your thumb on the home button. And as you can see on the screen, I just followed all those steps. Yes, this is a new moon sticker on the iPod. For those of you that don't know, this is my sister's iPod, which I'm using. She's a big fan of Twilight and everything like that. Personally, I think it's pretty bad, but you know, personal opinion right there. Keep holding your thumb on the home button until it says it's done. That's what I like to do. And as you can see on the screen, it does say jailbroken and it does say complete. So I'm going to take my thumb off the home button now. That should be done. It says it's complete, so just let it do its thing. As you can see, it runs through all the code like you saw on my iPad. Again, it would have been nice to see a complete jailbreak with just a green poison logo or something, but in other ways, this is kind of cool to see that as well, as it's something different. So, just let it run through its coding and do its thing. Shouldn't take too long at all. Just want this to be a quick video as an update, because uh, obviously I did do a full tutorial for the Windows version, and it is pretty much the same. So just let it do its thing. So, okay, so it's booting up. Now obviously, what I didn't say to mention was make sure your device is connected via USB, but that should be self-explanatory to all of you out there okay so we slide to unlock we go over and what what you didn't see on the tutorial for windows was the loader application because i'd already pre jailbroke just to check that it worked so what you need to do is click the loader application and now i can actually show you how to do this now make sure you are connected via wi-fi which i'm not so i forget this is an ipod touch so let me just connect my ipod to wi-fi Okay, so obviously you can click uh, complete on the Green Poison application after you're connected to Wi-Fi. Now you just want to load it up. Again, make sure you are connected. And it seems to have just not Wi-Fi not work in here for some strange reason. Okay, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. And when you are connected to Wi-Fi, make sure you connect, you open the loader application. It will load the sources. And what you will see is Cydia. So you just want to click on Cydia and it will pop up saying install Cydia. So it's very simple and you just install it. It started to download. It shouldn't take too long at all. Um, so when it's actually finished downloading, it will ask you if you want to remove the loader application. I just want to click yes when it does pop up. 
as you can see that was very quick okay so if you want to remove the loader application just click yes or, or remove and then when you X out you will have two now it should reboot the device if not you just have to reboot yourself there you go it'll reboot bit of a delay but it does reboot eventually and when you reboot you'll have a working Cydia application on your iPod Touch 2G so again I'm not really sure how I can prove it with the skin on it and everything like that but you can see it has the joint volume rocker and obviously you can trust me that this is an iPod Touch 2G running iOS 4.1 um, so yeah that's it so everyone out there asking for an iPod Touch 2G jailbreak here it is with green poison so we can slide to unlock scroll over and install Cydia now obviously for the iPod Touch 2G you won't have multitasking or wallpapers but you can actually get a tweak in Cydia which enables this for the iPod Touch 2G which is great so you can open it up and it'll start to do all its stuff so I'm just gonna X out for now and that's we're gonna end the video right there guys so that's it make sure to subscribe subscribe to the podcast and that's about it guys so follow the whole team on Twitter as well that's all down there in the description everything's in the description you need to know and everything like that all the links and stuff like that as well so that's pretty much it guys just wanted to make this quick update video to show you how to jailbreak the Arbitouch 2G that's the MC model and the MB model sorry about that um, yeah the Arbitouch 2G MC model and the MB model so both versions of the Arbitouch 2G now jailbreakable on iOS 4.1 with green poison so big props to the chronic dev team for updating it for that and also big props for the Mac version as well and until next time guys I'll catch you guys real soon in the next video have a great day and thanks for watching